the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to do too is if I'm not, if I'm just given information, I want to plot that information. All right. Once I have that information plotted, now what I need to do is determine is that is my transverse axis where my vertices, my foci, my center, is that horizontal or vertical? Cricket, cricket. It's horizontal, right? Horizontal. So since it's horizontal, horizontal, I know. Remember the formula for a hyperbola is a squared minus my b squared equals one. But since it's now horizontal, I'm going to have x minus h squared and then y minus k. Sorry? Wait, is it horizontal or is it vertical? It's horizontal because what we're talking about is your transverse axis. The transverse axis is where your foci, your vertices, and your center all lie. If that's horizontal, which you can see that line is horizontal, we're going to be using this equation. Okay. Sorry, it is horizontal. All right, so now what we need to do to write this equation, ladies and gentlemen, we need to figure out what the center is, we need to figure out what A is, and we need to figure out what B is. All right? So remember, the distance from the center to V is going to be A. The distance from your center to your foci is C, right? And we can see the center is at 0, 0. So we know the center is equal to 0, 0. Our A, how far are we traveling to get to our A? 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So A equals 4, and C equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right? Does that make sense? So now, however, guys, our equation, though, we need to figure out what B squared is, right? So remember, a hyperbola has a special equation, right? Our relationship for our hyperbola was different for our ellipse. So our equation for a hyperbola is going to be um, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c squared is going to be 5 squared equals 4 squared plus b squared. Well, 5 squared is going to be 25 equals 16 plus b squared minus 16 minus 16. So therefore, 9 equals b squared square. Uh, we don't need to square root. We just want to know what b squared is, right, for our formula. So we look at this. Do you guys need me to write 0 for h or k, or can I just write x squared, y squared? Is that OK? OK. <coughs> so if I know that this is just going to be x squared <laughs> minus y squared over a is going to be 4 squared, which is 16 and b squared, which is 9, equals 1. And there's your formula. You guys got that written down? Yeah. OK, good. Well, yeah, because it's x minus 0.